But other than that, stay away from it. 22 mile an hour wind gusts right now in Portland, 36 in Bangor, 22 in Waterville. And that's what's been adding to the cold feeling in the air. Yeah, it's cold, but the wind chills are in the teens, single digits below zero. I was saying before, they're checking out some of the different ski webcams, and it was busy, no surprise, holiday uh, situation here, holiday week, if you will. But with the winds, they had wind holds, and it was really cold, so you had to be pretty dar hard to be out there today. Hour by hour forecast tonight, temperatures drop down into the teens along the coastline, single digits farther inland. And then tomorrow we start with sun, but it doesn't last long. Clouds come in through the middle of the day, and then some light snow moves in tomorrow late afternoon into tomorrow evening. And this doesn't look like a big deal, but it's a little warm front that will give us some patches of a decent snow here and there on Wednesday night, setting up specifically from Bangor to Rangeley to Burland, and then turning over to rain showers over down East Maine. Temperatures there, upper 30s, low 40s. All of this should be out of here by Thursday mid-morning at the latest, and then Thursday afternoon actually looks pretty decent. Temperatures in the mid and upper 30s, and Friday looks good as well, mid and upper 30s, and a lot of sunshine. As far as this little system, Wednesday night, Thursday could see one to three inches from Bangor northward, Greenville, Presque Isle, uh, Caribou, Rangeley, and then I think we'll transition over probably to some rain showers along the coastline. I might slink this back just a little bit, and a dusting to an inch in Augusta and Lewiston, but that doesn't look like a big deal at all. Now, the second part of the system, so in between we have Friday which is the beginning of uh, 2021. And it looks pretty good, actually. Like I said, sunny largely and uh, temperatures in the mid and upper 30s. Here's our second system on Friday night into Saturday. And that looks like it will give snow to the mountains, a mix to snow even along the coastline initially before changing over to rain along the coast. And it stays snow into the mountains before it changes over to rain inland and then clears out on Saturday afternoon. So that could be several inches of snow in the higher terrain, get a break, and then watching a storm on Monday, which has looked increasingly interesting. So New Year's Eve is fine. New Year's Day is good as well. And then a mix over to a rain shower on Saturday. Uh, again, just off the top of my head here, this could be a three to five inch snowstorm for the mountains. Maybe it's a one to three for inland locations and probably an inch if that along the coastline over to rain. Partly cloudy on Sunday and then very interesting on Monday. And as you know, guys, very interesting for me is usually not good for everybody else. There is a storm system <laughs> that is uh, offshore, but it's making a run at us. It would be a, a more of a coastal type storm system, but it's yeah, a Monday, so that's good. When Keith's ears perk up, we all yeah. get under the we desk for the or something. <laughs> right. and, and, and that's not even just weather, that's just in general. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, in that's general. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, Keith.